Today we want to bring ourselves to the discussion of lenses and uh, basically there are two types of lens. We have uh, convex lens and concave lens. So in front of you is uh, two sets of diagrams which shows different types of convex lens and also different types of concave lens. So when you look at convex lens, uh, try to remember wax your head and your head has a shape like this part, okay, like this part. So this one is called a biconvex lens and this one is plano convex because this part is actually a plane, a plane surface and this one is convex meniscus. And as for concave lens, uh, just remember the cave is uh, you go in the cave. So it seems like you're going in the cave. So this one is biconcave lens. This is uh, plano convex concave. It is concave meniscus. But in our study, we are only focused on biconvex and biconcave. And one thing you need to know is also um, convex lens can also be known as positive lens and concave lens can also be known as negative lens. Another name for them is actually this one is a converging lens. Convex lens is converging lens because it will converge all the incident light ray into the principal focal focus point. And this one is a diverging lens because it seems to diverge away from as if coming from the you see the light ray coming here and it will go up so it act as though come from F point here as though coming from F point here and other ray also go through the same thing away so it seems like the light ray is being diverged away from the original path okay so next we have the case of investigating the lens so let us uh, move through the next one the mechanism behind the light passing through lens is uh, we can use a more detailed version we look at this red line this red line represent the tangent on the point of uh, the blue light ray striking so the blue light ray is striking at this point so I draw a tangent line red and I also draw a normal line which is green. So you realize that this point seems like what we have learned before. Here is the incident ray and this is the refracted ray, refracted angle. Okay, this refracted angle, this incident angle. Okay, it looks something like this refraction of light that we learned before normal is here so your light ray is actually bent towards the normal and this is R and this is I so basically light ray passing through lens going through refraction twice okay refraction of light actually occurs twice so this is the reason behind the converging factor or diverging factor of lens However, most drawing is only approximation. The details are irrelevant. You don't have to draw the refraction diagram all the time. And the three rules of geometrical construction still applies in lens. Besides that, the terms are more or less the same. Let us revisit them. You see, this is a, we use biconvex lens as a demonstration. And of course, later on, as we go into more details, we can use a concave lens. So now I want you to introduce I want to introduce you a few terms. Look at this red line. This red line has a certain height. So this HO is what we call a height of object. The height of the object. And the image seems to be the green one. The green one, so it has certain height also. But this one is negative height. But doesn't matter as long as I get the height. So this is the height of the image. Image form on the other side. Okay, sometimes image can be formed on the same side of the object as well. We will go into that later. So now you have this F, focus, principal focus point, and you have two F, twice the length, and on the other side also have F. This is only true 
when the curvature on left hand side and curvature on right hand side is the same so you have uh, the same F on the left and same F on the right and something new is this optical center optical center is like the the, the middle of the lens that light ray pass through will not be refracted it will just go through just like that okay as for the yellow ray any ray that is parallel with the principal axis will be will be refracted and come out striking principal focus point okay so another one should be if I use blue light blue I should strike the F and come out parallel to principal axis of course my drawing is not really accurate it should actually go through here but let us rub away so that we don't confuse ourselves okay you should know that the geometrical construction you use three ray the ray that goes through F will come out like this and strike here this is a point of intersection for the yellow ray brown ray and the black ray three rows okay so another thing is you need to know about the object distance this one seems like an object distance this object distance u and this one also seems like image distance v object distance image distance and this is principal axis optical center so these are the basic things more or less the same as the curved mirror more or less the same as the curved mirror 